Welcome to our video on gutta percha removal during endodontic retreatment. Gutta percha can be challenging to remove. In this video, we'll explore the most effective tools and techniques for its safe and efficient removal. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. You can remove gutta percha with manual files K files or H files, Gates Glidden drills, nickel titanium retreatment files, system B, gutta percha solvent. First manual K files, note that H files are not recommended as it's easy to fracture. Always feel the catch of the file in the soft gutta percha. Catch, rotate, pull, clean, irrigate and repeat. Don't force the file apically amp, don't do a complete rotation. Always inspect the file before use and during the procedure. There are two techniques. Patency first, get a patency with small file to the full working length then remove gutta percha. Remove gutta percha first then get patency. Gates Glidden drills. Use size 3 for coronal third only, first 2 to 3 millimeters. Size 2 for middle third or coronal half of the canal. Use no force and stop when there is resistance. Retreatment rotary files. Easier, faster, safer when used correctly. For experienced users, all rotary systems used for shaping can be used for retreatment. Special retreatment kits are present. Always use adjunctive aids such as gutta percha solvents and system B for facilitating the removal of gutta percha. One of the best rotary files for gutta percha removal is XP Endo Shaper with RPM above 2500. Just make a catch with a manual file or gates, then use it and enjoy the magic. System B. Used to soften gutta percha during retreatment. Softened gutta percha are easier to be removed. Gutta percha solvent. Used to solve the gutta percha for easier removal during retreatment. Chloroform is the best but potential carcinogenic. Orange oil extract or eucalyptol are used. How to use gutta percha solvent. 1. Access cavity must be box shaped. 2. Access cavity is filled with the solvent for coronal third removal of gutta percha. 3. Leave the solvent for about 30 to 60 seconds.